In this video, we will cover some free resources and how to get those free resources into our project. Project resources such as things on the Learn tab in the Marketplace, provided by Epic for free. Again, moving our resources from one project to another, and then also Allard's Style Guide. So on our launcher, we have a few tabs, and the Learn tab is a great resource for learning. But not only that, they provide some really good high quality content that you are free to use in your projects in Unreal Engine 4. For example, they have an open world demo collection. It gives you some nice materials and models that were photorealistically scanned, and then you could use them in your game itself. We have some water planes. We have things like some particle effects in the elemental demo and the particle effects demo. And there's just a lot of resources here. In addition to that, you also have the content examples, which not only is a great learning resource, there's a lot of good systems and things set up in here that you can use in your own projects. Now, in addition to the Learn tab, we have the Marketplace. Now, for the mar most place, the Marketplace has content that you need to pay for. However, it's not only stuff, if this thing would cooperate, it wouldn't be an issue here. There we go. The Marketplace is not only stuff that you have to pay for, there are some free things in here as well. For example, if we look for the game textures, uh, I don't know if it's one word or not, I guess we'll find out. Uh, game texture. Uh, nope, game texture, one word. Nope, okay. Anyways, there is a texture pack in here that is submitted free from the game. To, oh, you know what? I think it's in the, I wonder if it's in, bear with me. You know what? It might actually be in the learn tab. Nope, okay. Well, anyway, somewhere in here there is a free um, material pack provided by GameTexture.com that can give you some basic textures for you to play with and learn. But the biggest thing that's in here is the Infinity Blade assets. Infinity Blade was a series that was created on the Unreal Engine 3, and then at one point they were going to make a dungeon, a mobile-based dungeon game. But they decided instead that they weren't going to do it and they released the assets for free for use in Unreal Engine 4 on the marketplace. So if you t search for an Infinity Blade, you'll find these seven asset packs. You'll find three different themes, ice, grass, and fire. You'll find some enemies and some heroes. You'll find some weapons and then you'll find some special effects. And these things are great because all the resources are usable for learning as well as in your own project. Maybe you could grab some particle effects, modify the fire effects, and it works great, etc., etc. If I'm to go ahead and I was to open up my library, I've gone ahead and I've imported all of these into a project so I can pick them out. And that's where our second part comes in. Once we find something we want, how do we actually use it? How do we get it into our project? So let's say I'm going through here. I'm going to go through the effects and I'm going to find a effect. Ooh, let's find, um, oh, here's skill or, and let's say we have this effect right here. This is the shatter effect. And I like this effect. I think it looks really cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and use it for my game. Maybe I want to modify it a little bit, but I want this basic effect. Well, it's pretty simple to get. What we would do is you grab whatever you want. What you would do is then migrate it out to your project. So we would right click. We would go to asset actions, migrate. What this is going to do is it's going to grab everything associated with it. So if it's a character, it might grab might grab the animation blueprint and any textures and materials, skeletal meshes, skeletons, things like that. In the case of this material, we have a bunch of other textures and materials that are being used and particles that are being used for this. So we would just hit OK. If it needs to save, it's going to save it out and this is going to ask you where to put it. So in this case, let's say I wanted to move this over to the template I'm using for my examples, my game jam examples. I'd go to my Game Jam examples, and then i go to the Content folder. Everything over here is in the Content folder, so we want to move it to the Content folder. We'll go ahead and hit OK, and it'll migrate successfully or not. Now if we were to go to my Game Jam examples, which I have open here, and we go to the browser, we will find a new folder, basically identical to what the other one was, containing my stuff. 
So in this case, if we were to, I think I might have opened up the wrong project. Let's find out. Um, let's see, Infinity Blade Assets. We are looking for Infinity Blade Effects is what we're looking for. So if I was to open up my project itself here and uh, do, 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 explore, Game Jam content, yeah, see, so I, oh yeah, because again, yep. So slightly important to make sure you open up the correct project. I actually have the wrong Game Jam project open right now. Let's go ahead and open up the correct one because if we open up the correct one, we're actually gonna see what we exported. So once this one opens up, it's going to show our project and then we will find in there the infinity blade effects folder what we were supposed to find before and you'll find everything that's required is pulled out we knew that one was here under skill ors and if i go ahead and drop it into the game like this you can see the effect came through perfectly fine we have our effect that we can open up we can edit it we can do whatever we want with it and all the associated assets that went with it all of these meshes, all of these other particle effects, they all came through fine. And that's how you could do it from when you, one project to another. Things to note, you can only really go across to the same major version or up. You cannot go backwards. Once something is in a version, that's basically the version it's marked as. So for example, if I created something or I wanted something from a project in 4.14, 14 is the basically the major version that I care about. I Major, minor, yeah, I guess technically it would be minor, but dot 14 is what I care about. If I wanted to take that asset and migrate it out to a project that's dot 15, it'll work fine. If I want to go backwards and put it into something that's dot 13, it's not going to work. The migrate process will work fine. It's not going to error out. The problem is when you open the project, it's going to look at the asset files Notice they're for a version higher than it is, and it simply won't show up. So that is something to keep in mind. You can't migrate backwards, only forwards and across the same version. Now our last thing is going to be the Aller style guide. This is created by Michael Aller. He's someone who's worked in Unreal Engine for a bit. And he created the style guide to try to help people out with making things uniform and standard. The best part about this is, for the most part, this zero right here. If your project has a style guide, you should follow it. So if you know what a style guide is and you're using one, use it. But if not, a style guide is a way to keep things uniform and basically the same across all of your content. If you think of it in terms of art, a style guide may be, for example, always using yellow as your background for all of your assets because that's your theme it's your style for unreal engine it's for basically your naming your directory structure and blueprints so in this case if you're going to name for example a static mesh it should start with s or sm skeletal mesh sk textures t materials m things like this so it gives you a guide on keeping things uniform and succinct so if you were to look at a file and see that it was m underscore lightning you wouldn't have to wonder is this a particle effect for lightning is it a sound or is it a texture no m underscore lightning means it's a material and you'd easily be able to um, reference things and then has stuff such as content directory keeping things organized for your content and your directory structure and then naming of things inside of variables and tool tips and stuff like that so it's a really nice guide this is a completely free resource. It's a great read for someone who wants to maybe work with other people. In a game jam environment especially, you might be working with a small group. If you keep things organized and styled, it'll make things simple. You'll prevent conflicts physically and um, in between, with the project itself and with other people, and you'll, you'll be off to a good start. You'll be ahead of other people without a style guide. Now to plug him in addition to that, in the marketplace, if we type in Aller or we type in Linter, we'll find his Linter program. Basically, this is a version of the style guide, but in plugin format inside of the engine. And it allows you to easily reference things. It'll allow you to easily check and see if it matches the style guide. It'll allow you to rename things easily. And it's just a great little tool if you happen to use the style guide. I'd highly recommend it and again, Game Jam, you're working with other people, especially if you have like you're using source control, 
It's a great way to prevent conflicts and to keep things organized and just run as quickly as possible. Spending five minutes trying to find a certain item or material because the naming conventions are funky between you and your other teammates, this will help out. That's it. That's going to wrap up our free resources and how to get them into our project stuff. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you find some things that speed up your development process and hopefully you don't spend half an hour wondering why or how to even get resources from one project to the other. I did forget to mention the reason their migrate is inside of the project itself is because you should always migrate them. Don't go into, for example, go into Explorer, grab the asset, copy it and paste it. You will usually run into issues. Use the migrate so that way it moves over everything properly.